<clears throat> Yo. What is going on? What is up? Holla. All right, so I'm hopping on today's live just to uh, check in and say hello, make sure everyone's good as far as, uh, you know, Q4 and then, you know, going into testing one, two, make sure that you guys can hear me too on that end. If you guys just testing my audio, making sure everything is good. I'm What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I see everyone over here on uh, Instagram. I have, I'm going live on, uh, you know it, Steve, you know, what's up all day. <laughs> um, I'm live on Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. I'm live on YouTube. So if you guys are joining from any of these platforms, say hello, give this video a thumbs up. If you're on Instagram, heart it. Um, I'm answering any questions related to print on demand. Okay. And uh, basically pushing your business into 2023. And we got people over here on YouTube coming in and saying hello. What up, doe? What's up? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, hello. I'm putting all you guys' uh, if you I'm putting all you guys' uh, comments up up here on the screen. So welcome. I appreciate you guys joining this this live, and uh, it means a lot. And um, hope you guys are doing really well uh, this Q4 going into. Got people over here on Facebook too, going into. Can you guys hear me first and foremost with the microphone? Um, I haven't went live on this in a while. Let me make sure double check. I should have double checked that before. It says it's going good, so we're good, right? Hi, 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 hi. You live ever platform. It's too late for creating Christmas campaign gear. Well, okay, question. Uh, when it comes to creating designs for Christmas, I think when it comes to that, okay, it's never too late to create designs for any niche unless it's like a a certain holiday that's like a one-time thing. Uh, but you can get last minute sales in as of like right now. It's still t you still have time to get sales in. Uh, but as far as, you know, most people are saying to design, I've been saying this for years to design 90 days out and forward. Okay. When it comes to designing like that, it's, it's more of a kind of getting ahead, right. And having the actual design live or product live on whatever platform you're on. This can be Amazon. This can be Redbubble. This can be Etsy. This can be your own website, but the goal is to get that product live before you know the customers start to search because when the customers start to search if you can get that product to rank okay then it's gonna once it starts to rank it starts to get closer and closer to that front page so what happens when that product gets closer and closer to that front page you tend to make more sales okay um and that's how it is and it, it just applies to anything so let's say if you're um you're trying to get a design and, and, and rank it in front of everybody right? The goal is to optimize, obviously create a good design. Okay. Do your research, um, and figure out what niche you're going to go after. And then based off of that niche, let me, I forgot to close that window and based off of that niche, right? The goal is to create that best design, the best design in that niche. Okay. And then once it starts to make sales, it'll start to rank forward. Okay. Closer and closer to that front page. And then with that right there, then you got more eyeballs, more traffic's more traffic going to your product and which means more sales, right? So that's what you look for when it comes to uh, any of this. It's important that you understand that uh, a lot of the designs that I personally put up to, uh, I have a designs that they, they make sales every single day or every other day. Right now it's a little weird because I have designs that are selling and uh, my top selling design on my, my personal, on Amazon, my top selling design for a t-shirt, um, it's, it's really weird. It wasn't making sales like all of black Friday or all of cyber Monday, which is weird. Thanks for the live. No, no, you're welcome. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Okay. Should I start designing for a hundred days of school? I am on tier 1000 without ads. So let me see if I can pull up my screen real fast. Let me see Google. 
let me look something up google trends if you guys have any questions over on instagram uh, please ask them okay days of school i'm looking this up for you right now i know i have that up let me do a little quick screen share so you can see got it got it got it got it let me turn this on all right uh, let me share my screen Bonjour. yo let me one second present share screen i'm gonna share my screen to show you exactly what i look at okay when it comes to like looking to design for a niche right and if you guys can see my screen i'm gonna go ahead and enlarge this i'm gonna cut me let me put me right there look at woo! look at me okay i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so now it's talking about 100 days of school okay i went over here to google trends and i'm seeing okay when does this trend up right when does this start to trend now you can see like towards look at right here if you can see this, let me zoom in a little tiny bit more. As you can see right here, you see when it starts to trend up, like you wanna get in like right here because when it starts to ride up, it's gonna just boom, right? And when it's at its peak, I'm trying to get it right there in the middle, but it won't let me, let me let me scroll up. Okay, when it's at its peak, it's like in the, the end or the beginning, the mid, the end of January and the, like the, the beginning of February, okay? That's what it seems like. Okay, so the thing is, is like you can start doing that right now because when you start to get Mike sales with these designs, they're going to start cranking. And once they start cranking, they're going to start to get into the algorithm more and more and more, which means more sales, right? Um, and that's the idea to get that product to rank. You want it to rank, you know? Um, you can mess with this a little bit more, like so, let's say like the past 30 days, and it'll kind of give you more of an insight in how it is, how, how, how everything is working and like this is actually search results that Google shares with you for free okay so if you're looking for a certain like niche or like a certain holiday type this in okay and it will give you a ton of good information over here okay and that's important because this is gonna help you like make a better decision of, okay when should you start designing for a certain niche and then obviously like this is not an evergreen niche and evergreen niche is like something that sells like pretty much all year round or every other day or every week okay um, now this something like this, you can see that it goes up and down and it's all crazy. It's because what, right? No, like no one's buying this design all year round until let me go back over here to the past five years until, like I said, the end of January, the beginning of February. Okay. So right now is a good time to get into it start designing and start getting those designs up and cranking them out and, um, try to make something as hell. And that is the goal, right? To get something to sell. Uh, we, okay, we got a hello, 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 hello. Everyone's in here. I'm just saying hi to everyone, guys. Um, if you guys, uh, like I said, if you guys are just barely joined, you're more than welcome to ask any questions. And I'm here to help out. RJ, would you first fill all of your MBA slots? He's talking about merch by Amazon slots before starting on other platforms. Uh, when it comes to any of this, guys, um, it's so this is all up to you. Um, if you wanted, if what I would do, I focus on like like the strengths and and and, and what I have available at like at me right now. So. Um, if you guys are live here too, over here on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, please. It helps helps my content, helps you know, you know push my content and the algorithm a little bit better as I'm sharing uh, free knowledge with you guys. Um, so, when it comes to this, yes, I would I would just simple yes, get get your designs up, uh, put them up on there, and then obviously when you get your designs uh, slots all filled, don't forget. A lot of people forget this. Uh, you can share, I mean, you can save them in drafts, right? So on the back end. So if you have, let's say you have a thousand designs and you're at tier 500, don't forget that you can put, okay, this, this, uh, this information on the back end of, um, you know, of the back end of your Amazon merch account, because once you do this, it's, uh, it can, you do this right here. It just, when you tear up, it's like, boom, 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 boom. And 
you can start getting your designs live and you're not waiting. Okay. I'm waiting to tear up. I'm waiting to tear up. No, you don't, you don't have to wait for that. Okay. You can just, you can just, uh, you can just, uh, when, it, when you can just put them live and once you put them live, then boom, they're like, they're live on your account and you get a lot of, um, your designs live and then gives you a better opportunity to start to make sales on those new designs. Right. So hopefully that answers that. And then once you get those all uh, filled, like I said, you can do draft or you can start uploading on different platforms, which is very powerful because it's, it's, it's crazy because print on demand is amazing when it comes to any of the stuff. And it's a, one of the best ways that have personally changed my life and I've helped at, and I've helped tons of people make money online too as well. And then just testing, it gives you ideas. It gives you more knowledge. You learn more. And the more you learn, the more you earn. Right. And that's very powerful. So, and another thing too, it just little things too, that we can, um, like as we're judging ourselves and, and trying to make, trying to be better in our business, there's certain things that you can do personally. Okay. That can, you know, grow your business even more. Okay. And it can be a little thing as in making your graphics or your illustrations better. Right. And I'm going to get into more of that at, at the end after I answer a few questions, because it's very, very powerful and you can take your business to that next level. Bro, can I publish the same material in another marketplace? The same, the same for the cover. So when you're publishing, can I publish the same interior in another marketplace? If the same, so what you're, if I get this correct, so when you publish the book, it already goes live in eight different marketplaces already. Okay. So make sure you understand that. If I get that correctly, I believe it's like around eight. It might be 12. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure around there, but when you publish your book on Amazon KDP, it's going to go live in a few different marketplaces. Okay. When you do that, you're just putting it live in the U S and it's pushing it to the other marketplaces for you. Right. And that is like, it's, it's, it's that simple, which is really cool. That's one of the reasons why I love Amazon KDP, uh, because you publish one book and then they just push it into all the other marketplaces for you. Okay. So if I got that question correctly, that's what you mean. It does that automatically for you as long as you check them. Okay. Uh, do you know what's possible to Amazon deduct aspect? Says, do you know if no? So when do you know if it's possible to 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 have Amazon deduct ad spend from your earnings instead of receiving invoices? Okay, I see what you mean right here. Um, as far as that, my only is once you hit that five hundred dollar threshold, okay, or if you don't hit that five hundred dollar threshold, at the end of the month it automatically deducts or charges your credit card that you have on file. And as of right now. I, I'm not sure of any other way and I haven't heard of any other way. So this is something that, you know, it's, there's really no way around this because of the rules of Amazon and that's what they have in place. So I'm not sure if anyone knows of anything like that. If you do know of anything, please leave a comment right here somewhere. If you can help with answering that question, but that's the only way that I know so far. Okay. Good question too, by the way, because I can see why, right? When people just want to just deduct it from, you know, your Amazon spend or your Amazon royalties at the end of the month, which makes a lot of sense or just from, but I think it's just the way they have it set up is like, it's like two different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's two different, uh, like two different platforms in a way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for asking a question. Strategy for tier 500, no ads. Um, research, research, low competition, new niches. Okay. Um, think about it this way. You want to do research to the level of you don't, it's, it's like you want to stay ahead of your competition by like, one thing I recommend is going to a niche that you understand. If you do that, right. By you doing that, you will create more like you can create better designs for your niche because you know what's going on. Okay. Certain funny sayings that work for you, your niche won't work for other people's niches. Like if people are trying to design for, let's say, uh, baseball, football, basketball, all, all these other sports. Right. And if you just design for, let's say you love baseball. Okay. And you know everything about baseball. 
okay? Any of the funny sayings that come out, you're gonna know first and you can put that on a product, a, a t-shirt, uh, a pop socket, whatever it is, okay? When it comes to this type of stuff, it's important that you kind of, you wanna stay ahead of your competition. And that's one way to do it is by, you know, creating designs in niches that n like no one else knows about, okay? And then outside of that, you, I have a video on this too, going into more detail, okay? Um, but outside of that, you wanna, if you can run your own traffic from the outside, okay, you're on YouTube, most wanted uh, YT, okay? You can create your own tra cr traffic, okay? Create your own brand and just start driving your own traffic. If you do this, right? That's one way to stay ahead of your competition because you put a design out and let's say you have 100 people, okay? Let's say you present your design or your product to 100 people, 20 of them purchase, that gives you a push in the Amazon algorithm to help you, you know, boost sales organically too, which is powerful. Okay, let's go. What do you know about Google search terms for the list of all holidays and good upskirt stuff? Okay, um, Google search terms for a list of all the holidays. So, what, um, what do you know about? I'm trying to see, like, for example, as far as like using Google search to kind of find those hidden like keywords that you won't see like on Amazon. I think that's what you're saying. Do you, oh, do you know how to go use a Google search term? No, see when it comes to this, it just, you're thinking of different ways. This is what I would do. You would think of like just different ways of searching for certain products and certain niches, okay? And that's one way to do it. And you can test like, let's say if you create like 20 designs and you can use those keywords, right? And by you using those keywords in different ways can create different opportunity for traffic to come to your listing, if that makes sense. Um, it's like, it's like that key, like the keyword talk, right? Because I can, I, this is my favorite subject, by the way, when it comes to, you know, looking for different ways to get traffic, this right here, if you like learn how to do this and specialize in this, you can make a lot of money by you doing that. Okay. And that's powerful because that's one way to get ahead of your traffic. Okay. So the question is, do you know a good way? Uh, do you know a good Google search term for a list of all holidays? Um, you can literally just type in, just go to, just type in Google and type in, you know, uh, USA holidays for 2023. And that's one way to do it. That's what I would do. Save the lives, please. Yes, I will save this live. Stoop. How to answer that one right there. It is what it is. You know it. Hello. I am doing good. It says, how are you, my dears? Doing good, 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 good. All right. I forgot over because I'm over here on Instagram Live. If you guys have any questions over here on Instagram Live, Feel free to ask. I'm trying to go through. Oh, 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 okay. I have one over here on Instagram Live. Damn monitors in the way. <laughs> Let me see. Oop. I'm trying to get. Oop. Hey, there's some questions in here that I didn't see. My bad. Um, it says I already have a AMS account to advertise other products, and I use it to advertise my merch products. So, in order. Let me, let me get, I'll get back to that question right now. So I have a question on Instagram um, asking AMS account to advertise other products. They already have one. And then I, can I use it to advertise my merch products? So you can only advertise your merch products. So your Amazon merch account, right? If you don't know what that is, check it out. Amazon merch on demand. If you don't know what that mean, what that means, um, you can only advertise the products that you have. If you have access to your Amazon ads account, right? You can only advertise your Amazon merch products on your Amazon account. Like there's a little tab that becomes live, okay, on your account. And the only way you can advertise your products if you use that. Don't use, don't go away, don't go over on KDP, sign up and then advertise your products that way. Don't do that. Um, I don't think it will allow you. It may like, um, ban the account or like make the make that uh, advertising account ineligible to run an ad to that product if that makes sense um it's a it's a very confusing how they do things 
with it with it but they're trying to make it more user friendly as far as getting access to ads and you don't get access to ads until you get into the higher tier tiers and it's not an automatic thing it's like an approval basis okay once they see you're like in tier 2000 then they'll give you um then they'll give you a um then you'll give you access to ads on your account which will a little tap will pop open and it'll say amazon it will say advertising okay which is really awesome if you can do that on your account because that's how you get more traffic and more sales bro i need an account for merch by amazon i do not sell them because the reason being i do not sell the accounts amazon is very strict that's what that's why it's an approval you have to get approved you have to get approved in order for you to get an amazon merch account if you're buying them in a way where people are selling them for 50 or a hundred dollars most likely you can probably get in trouble get your well you won't get in trouble you just get your account banned okay and the reason being is because it's they'll fly it'll get flagged when you switch the information in the back end it'll get flagged unless you're purchasing it like a business i know a few people that have sold their accounts where the only thing that they switch is their bank account information and they get the login information okay they don't switch nothing else and that is the way to do it um but if you're doing going in there switching some information around it throws a red flag up and then amazon is like oh what's going on and then your account ends up missing or you can't sign it how do you find good evergreen niches for free use and use google trends so that is a really good question i actually made a video on my channel um i would have to go search it but you can just literally you're gonna start searching start searching you're gonna be on you're gonna be on amazon you're gonna be on google like exactly what i just did and just start searching for different ideas okay i come up with different ideas like when i go to the store or like when i'm watching tv or when i'm out and about okay you there's so many ideas out there okay there's a ton of ideas that you can come up with as far as uh coming up with new niche ideas or just you know just like wow okay this is a good idea because you know most likely if they're showing it on tv or if they're showing it on social media there's a way that there's an uh, idea for a t-shirt in there okay um it's not about just you know going onto the platform and seeing what's selling and and, and then obviously like you know seeing what's selling in that niche and try to create something in there you can do that that's definitely a good way um but don't copy don't copy other people's design trying to think about your how you can put your own spin on it because if you do this you're creating less competition for yourself and you'll make more money okay funny sayings always do good there's always funny sayings every single day which is really cool low, low thumbs up i already have a ams server account okay he already he asked that one on instagram Paul, what's up, man? What's good? Chilling, man. Happy holidays to you, to you and the family and all that stuff. Um, it's uh, it's going really good over here. Crushing it with sales. I um, just want to get on this call to see if you know if anyone had any questions, and I'm going through all the questions and helping people. So if you guys have any questions, ask your questions. I'll be, I'll be generous and give out a niche and I'm starting out for some easy sales. The Reese, man. I don't even know what that is. I, have to, I don't even know what that is. I would have to check that out. There's a trending niche right there. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. 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 Um, have you incorporated any AI programs into your work? Okay. This right here, guys. When it comes to stuff like this, everything, this, a lot of this stuff's trending right now. Okay. Um, this is crazy because when stuff like this trends, okay, this is going on all over right okay and this is something that i try to look forward to fine tune fine tune like my workflow personally i always try to figure out a way to be better than what i've what i do personally when it comes to creating a design because if you can do that um if you can do that that's very big okay and this is like you against you okay not you against the other person that's showing their cells and like hey look at me check me out Okay. If those, some of those people are really nice and they try to help you and stuff like that. But when it comes to any of this stuff right here, I'm like, okay, what can I do to optimize and, and make the workflow better with me personally? So 
there's one called Jasper. Okay, I've been using that for like an AI writing tool to come up with different content ideas to come up with, you know, you just, just help me with my business and grow my business. Um, and there's like Jasper art, I forgot mid journey, there's mid journey, um, as far as like coming up with there's this I use this to help my, uh, my illustrator, my artists on my team to understand, okay, like, this is a good way to create, you know, this illustration, this graphic, there's so many different ways to get inspiration from these type of tools. It's not like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this design and throw it up on a product. I haven't did that yet. Um, because I feel like the lines are still blurry. My guys have to still go in there and edit um, the actual artwork itself. But this is a really good idea because this is becoming very, very popular. There's some artists that are against this. Um, and I'm like, okay, what can I do? And my, even my even my own artists are like, I, we're not using that, RJ. We're not using that. So I think Jasper right now, uh, there's Jasper Art. There's uh, Mid Journey. You can use any of those right there, okay? Um, I have made a few uh, videos on uh, Jasper and how it can, you know, change your business. That's on my channel too. Um, but I think it's just, this is very powerful and this is something that's new that's coming out. And I believe that if you, if you stay on like top of these type of trends, this is how you get ahead of your competition. Okay. So think about that. Also to Adobe stock, they allowed, um, they're, they allowed, uh, I was talking about this, uh, this morning, they allowed AI images to be posted on their platform. So when, when someone downloads that AI image, you can get a percentage for that download which can be 33 cents to 25 dollars or something like that per download so that's another stream of income that you can make kind of like a print on demand like a download digital download where you don't have to be physically there you just put it up online and uh, make money right so something to keep in mind there's a little hint for you uh you mentioned in the past about making seven to ten designs in a niche long tail keyword do you immediately add them to a campaign if so do you group them or add them to their own Ryan? And I have one question over here on Instagram that I'm gonna get to. Okay, guys, um, Ryan has a good question and I'm pretty sure you heard that. This is interesting. Um, because Ryan, at the end of the day, when it comes to any of this stuff, Jessica, what's up when it comes to any of this stuff. Okay. It's all about testing. Okay. You, it's crazy to see what type of keywords you can convert for. Um, when it comes to testing out a new niche, you'll convert. Okay. You'll convert. You can test out any type of keyword you can think about. So you just test out. Let's test out shirt. For example, just do very generic stuff. Sometimes I've tested this out before. Um, and you can do that exactly what you just said right here. You can do that, but like test out different things and see what happens. Um, go to the top seller in that niche, run a uh, helium 10 Celebro and just scrape every single keyword that's um, ranking for and put it into a campaign and you'll be surprised that you can convert for, uh, uh, certain keywords like at five cents, 10 cents, two cents, right? <laughs> and that's a little trick right there to kind of get that first sale going and, uh, get, start ranking in that algorithm. So hopefully you, you heard that and hopefully that helps. So, but at the end of the day, it's just all about testing. Okay. So it, it, one question, is it important to make designs with RGB colors or it doesn't matter? Okay. When it comes to any of this, you have every single platform is going to be different. So you want to make sure that you check the rules and follow their uh, best practices. Okay you doing that following the best practices on the platform the platform's gonna love you like you don't want to go against what the platform if you go against something else like if the platform's telling you to do one thing and then you go against it and you do something else that's like uh the platform doesn't like you <laughs> like you want to go with the rules that the platform's giving us an opportunity to sell on there so we want to make sure that we follow the rules as best as possible i know that we make mistakes sometimes and that's okay we're human we all make mistakes i make mistakes every single damn day and I'm not perfect, okay? But at the end of the day, I try as best as possible because it's never gonna be perfect, but it's, it's gonna be there, right? It's gonna almost there, but it's never gonna be perfect. Just keep trying to keep improving and, and, and being better than, than what you were previously. But at the same time, there's rules in place that we have to follow and we wanna make sure that we follow those rules to the T. Good question. 
Let me see. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. There's a question right here. I have a question regarding suspended accounts. My wife's account got suspended because of inactivity. Nothing was uploaded or no rejections. Okay. So when it comes to this, what, it, so no, so nothing was uploaded, no rejections. How do you think, what do you, how do you think is the chance to get it active again? So when it comes to this type of stuff, um, the best thing that you can do is send the, send them an email, try to reach out to them, try to contact somebody, try to contact a human being that's behind, you know, the keyboard. And I know, I know a lot of the times we get someone that is, um, just like a, like a robot automation service, like, and then you don't get nobody, but the best way to do it is trying to start a conversation with them. And then once you have a conversation going with them, then you can ask them, Hey, can you help me with this the account and, and see what they can do? Um, I know a few people that have got their account suspended and then they end up getting it back. And then I know a few people that have, um, this happened to them and I think it happened to them on accident. And then they sent them an email as far as them not being in like active on the account and they send them an email and then they reinstate it because they made a mistake. But as far as them doing that, I think it just comes down to them making the mistake. If they make a mistake, then they will re and like reactivate the account. Okay. And if you guys want to help anybody in the chat too, as well, and help anybody, you guys see the questions coming up. If you guys have any knowledge or anything like that, please, please feel free to share. Okay. I'm, I'm here. We're here to help each other. Okay. We're not here to be mean to each other. And if you, if you're acting like that in the group or in the chat or anything like that, I'm going to give you the boot to throw my shoe at you. <laughs> And thank you, by the way, for coming in. I appreciate it too, by the way. Hey, hey, RJ family wasn't expecting it live, but I'm here. So I, I think it's and J mom one. Okay. Um, thank you. You always uh, show up on my uh, videos and say hi. I really appreciate that. Okay. I just wanted to tell you this live. I'm live right here. So I'm not no edits, no nothing. I'm live. I'm real. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you very much for always leaving a comment. And like in my videos, that means a lot to me. Okay. And happy holidays. <laughs> Jessica, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, let me go up here. Scrolling up right here on my, we don't see anything. I can't see. No scene. Oh, it's, oh guys, if you guys are over here on Instagram live, I am. It's hard for me to see. I would have to switch this whole thing around. But if you guys want to see, like, when as I'm talking, I'm over here on uh, YouTube, okay, and then Facebook Live, okay? And um, there's some comments in here that I'm trying to get to. God. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, scrolling up and down on my damn phone trying to make sure. I don't want to miss no comments. I'm trying to help over here. One second, there was one question that I passed up. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, all right, I'm trying to catch up to these questions, but they got like people joining in when they join in, they pushes it up, my bad. I'm trying to get to you guys and I messed up the, the mom. I'm ready to crick it. Okay, uh, any experience advertising on TikTok? Um, as far as TikTok, although like I, um, I don't have actually, I do have one personal, not a personal. I have a bit, I have one brand over there where I don't show my face. Okay, always keep in mind, guys, any platform that you guys are on, you don't have to show your damn face. You don't like, like the only reason I'm doing this is because just to show you guys, like, what's up? I'm real. I'm here. Hello, how's it going? I do this for a living, right? And you don't have, but as far as like your brand, like your t-shirt brand or your book brand, or your, 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 pro, your, you're selling any type of product on Amazon, it can be whatever it is. Right. Um, as long as you're like just showing, giving them value and providing value to the audience and showing them something cool that they may, may entertain them. You can do that. Right. You don't have to do any of that. Okay. Just a heads up. So as far as advertising on TikTok goes, um, I've only tested a few things and I haven't went like where I spent like a hundred or 200 or $300. 
Um, I've tested the, the biggest platform that I've tested outside was like would be Facebook. It's probably spent over like, I want to say like $17,000 on Facebook. And I was just experimenting, building a fan page, growing it. And then uh, obviously creating content for it. And I've done that, which is really cool. Um, but other than that, like I, TikTok, I've been hearing nothing but good results with TikTok. Okay. I would definitely try TikTok and, 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 and put some stuff out there because if you have like, see it as like, if you're creating content and then you're pushing it out there and getting more eyeballs than what it is, it's like, you're getting more people to look at your stuff. What happens when like you're creating more opportunity for yourself. Right? So think about that. I think the, the, the more, the better, right? But obviously you have to have a budget for yourself when you're starting off with certain things. You can't just go in there like, oh yeah, I'm going to go in there and spend whatever amount, right? <laughs> it says, uh, RJ, what's the best way to approach a woman in the bar scene? <laughs> um, make them laugh. Um, have fun. Be yourself. Um, be, uh, I think be yourself and have fun, right? If you do that, then it's a win-win situation, <laughs> right? I try. Right. It's a win-win situation at that point. So, um, how many upload designs for every niche for, to tier up from tier 10? So how many does, so you have to have over 10 products sold. Okay. And then the last time that I've tiered up, it's like 80% of the account. So it'd be eight, eight live designs or eight. Yeah. Eight live designs. And that's the one, that's the one way to do it. Okay. But you got to make sure that you have over 10 sales. So have 11, 15 sales and eight live designs live. And then that's how you tear up and it doesn't happen automatically. Amazon does it. Like it took me about a month to tear up one time. I'm at tier 200 K right now. Okay. Um, Jessica covering books or journals. Good question. So my answer is create a book that has a lot of good information in it as far as like that it can be for so it can be a journal it can be a coloring book it can be a, a a coloring book and a journal okay together the more detailed information the more like you know personalized it seems to that person less competition and more money okay you doing that creating more detail in a book it can it can create all the difference in the world and, and, and help you make more sales because it just, you're just standing out from your competition. A lot of people don't want to take the time to sit there to create a really good book because uh, design is easier to put on a t-shirt compared to creating a book on Amazon KDP. That's why there is less competition when it comes to that. Okay. And then I'm not saying neither just to, you know, um, repeat the, the inside of an interior and then slap a cover on it and put it up. Yes, it, it, that works. Don't get me wrong. But as you start to make sales, you want to evolve into understanding, okay, if I create this badass book in this niche, I can make more sales. Okay. If you do that, that's how you make more money. Okay. And then just, and then that's how you like, you'll, you'll see like your book will start to be shared in certain places or you'll go on to certain pages and you'll see it being shared because it's a really cool book and people love it. And that's the one way that I would personally, um, do that. Okay. So that's the one way. So that's up to you at the end of the day when it comes to this, but, uh, you can do, you can do both of them. I know someone that has a really awesome journal. Okay. I'm not talking like nine line notebooks neither. that has a really awesome journal where it's all colored on the inside, which is dope. And I think it's just a, a really amazing freaking freaking book. Right. And I've purchased it to show love because that's what I do. Even Drew, Drew's in here. I purchased uh, a few of his books and Um, I've never, so this is my jam right here. So I never outsized designing before any tips were to find someone designs on a, on a budget. So when it comes to any of this, it's like, what can your business afford? If you're making $3,000 a month, let's say online. Okay. On Amazon, I think like, uh, you could probably, you could probably do about 300 to $500 a month. So think bigger like that because then they'll do more work for you. The more work they do for you, the, your business should grow, right? 
So when it comes to this, you can go on Upwork, you can go, you can search on Fiverr, just try to work out some type of deal where you're ordering in bulk, where you're maybe creating five, 50 or not five, but 50, 40 custom, beautiful illustrations, graphics, okay? And then putting them up if they can, you know, you want to make sure that they, they look good on shirts. Uh, and then understanding that right there can, you know, um, understanding that right there can help you grow your business. And then obviously you're building your team at that point. So once you put the systems in place, the workflow is just like just on, 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 and you can crush it like that. Okay. So I think it's just when it comes to any of this stuff, understanding the, like your workflow and your processes. Okay. To make it easier for them to do the work is very important because that's, that's just how, how it's done. Okay. If you guys are just bar barely joining, got 20 people live on here. Give this video a thumbs up, please. Appreciate it. Helps out. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, you'll get like 10 people, by the way, that will apply for like your job. Let's say like on Upwork, you'll get like 10 people apply and um, probably even 30 sometimes. Okay. Then you have to go through and vet them. Like you say, talk to them, see how they communicate with you based on how they communicate with you. That's how they will, you know, you can, you can hire somebody and that's what I do. What can you ask them? What can you do? To help me grow my business ask him that question what can you do to help me grow my business they, they give you a good answer this is what i can do you know if they give you like a really good answer that's like who you want right sales are good but doesn't look doesn't look like q4 yeah uh sales are um really good for me personally um i'm not sure maybe you know I, I think as like when it comes to a lot of this stuff, like the same designs that we have or same products that we have from last year or not, maybe some of them are not doing good this year. Okay. So it's something to keep in mind as like the trends and the culture and all that stuff starts to, you know, new, new people buying new everything, right. That happens every single year. So it's our job as sellers to understand what people want and give them what they want. We do that. Right. That sounds so easy too, by the way. Right. It sounds so easy to do that. Um, it, but it just, it's not because you have to understand it. You know, you have to relearn everything and be like, Oh, this is what's happening. This is what I need to do. And you know, this is, you know, the approach that I'm going to do and take to help me grow my business even more than what it is. Some of your designs, some of my designs are, you know, they've, they're, they're consistent sellers. And, but my top selling designs for like cyber Monday and black Friday didn't sell. And I'm just like, kind of weird. I was like, what's going on? So I don't know. So it's, it's like up to us as sellers to understand that and learn from that. Hey, RJ, what is the best way to make sales on Amazon merch? If you can't do ads. Okay. Um, Jacqueline. Okay. When it comes to this, um, uh, it's all about, so you have to do your research first and foremost research. You're going to have to research in low competition niches. Okay. And what I mean by that is like going to like, let's say there's a new saying for unicorn, right? Um, if you're one of the first people on the platform to upload that design, when people search it, you pop up, you make sales, that's going to trigger the algorithm and say like, okay, people really want this design and they'll start to push your design more. Okay. But that takes a little bit more work and understanding of how people are searching for products on the platform. And this just, do you have to put a system in place for yourself to understand this? Okay. When you have niche, certain niches, you have to boom, boom, crush them out, uh, crank them out. And, uh, this is, like I said, that's like the name of the game. Unless you create your own, this is another way, unless you create your own like brand. Okay. Your own fan page. This can be on uh facebook this can be on instagram this can be on TikTok. this can be on pinterest uh what else is there youtube all these platforms right give us the opportunity to create content on and if we create really good content you can literally put a product behind it and people can purchase okay and it's that simple once you understand that that's that's one way to do it okay and hopefully that answers your question um when i first started I didn't have access to ads just yet. I think I did, but I didn't use it because I wanted to learn how to do the research. I, it was a while back. It's like 2017. So I was, I was learning how to do the research part of things. 
and I actually showed people how to do that at the very beginning. Go back and look at my channel. You'll see one of my first videos where I talk about how to do the research and show people, you know, how, how I found this design and how I did this and this is what I did. And it, it was literally that type of game. And then I realized, whoa, what up? If I put ads and a lot of people weren't talking about this, a lot of the top sellers weren't talking about this. I'm just like, how long you been running ads? Oh, oh yeah, since we had access to it. It's like, oh, so you weren't telling me. So, you know, in this space too, in this online business game, there's some people out there to get you. They act like they don't know certain things and do this and do that. That's, that's up to you. And, you know, it's the internet at the end of the day. So you want to make sure that the person that's giving you the knowledge is actually trying to help you and not trying to take advantage of you, okay? Throw, the ch throw a chocolate. yep. You're welcome. Thanks for always looking. You're welcome. I'm so glad I catch live. I haven't seen, I miss seeing them. True, yo. Um, if you weren't an entrepreneur, what would you be? Growing up as a kid, I always wanted to be a firefighter. <laughs> I wanted to be a firefighter because I liked that movie. That movie Backdraft always inspired me to be a firefighter. That's what I wanted to be. I, like, I enjoyed saving people. Uh, well, I enjoyed the thought of it. I never oh, I did it a few times in my life, I guess. Um, I enjoyed uh, the thought of it, right? And I think that kind of um, going into uh, the danger and uh, going into a building and helping people and bringing them out was one thing that I've always wanted to do growing up as a kid. I would dress up. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> um. So when it comes, so someone has a question. So I checked it. It's like, um, it said it's something about a comedian. I think that's what it said. Someone, a comedian said a, a, a funny saying. Okay. I think it said sinner and saints or something, but you looked it up. It was a cop. It was copyrighted. So with that type of stuff, this is on uh, Instagram too, by the way, I'm live over here, but I can't, I messed it up because I would have to turn it all back off and I'm not turning it back off. Um, with the copyright trademarks, you have to understand it. If you look up if you look up the copyright if it's live up there you want to be careful you don't want to be like if it's a i think you said it was a book um if if they have that right there if they have it live you do not want to put that on a t-shirt and you want to make sure that you understand you know everything about it like using like lyrics from songs stuff like that you want to be very careful so you want to make sure that you're double checking and understanding all that i have a, it's a very it's like hard it's not it's hard to explain because Certain people don't understand it and they think they do, but they don't. And then other people think they know it and then they don't. And I've double, I've checked tons and tons of trademarks and copyrights, stuff like that. You just want to make sure that you're doing it the correct way. I have a few videos on my YouTube channel. If you haven't checked that out on Instagram, the link is going to be in my bio. If you go on my channel and you search uh, trademark checks and I show you a tool, that's how you can, you know, use it. Um, I had to make an updated video, but going into more detail about how to, you know, search for trademarks and stuff like that, because it's a, it's tricky. It can be tricky, right? And it can be a little frustrating sometimes because people be out here trademarking stuff that don't even make any damn sense and they're not even doing nothing with it, but they're just doing it because they're on Amazon selling a t-shirt. Something you said that you encourage is research, research design. I put out a lot of good stuff. In my opinion, the sales don't back. My next book, Research Before I Start. Oh, I, I told you this. Remember, uh, I think I did a video, a voice chat on Instagram over there, Drew. One of the most important things is uh, research. Research before you start. Because you want to make sure that there's a demand before you do any type of uh, designing. If you do that, hello guys on Instagram. If you do that, um, that right there is going to help you and give you a better idea. Like, okay, if I rank on the front page... Next to this book, and the, and, the, and the BSR on this book is 30K, right? I'm creating an opportunity to where a customer will search for a long tail keyword, and then I'm positioned next to it, then I'll make sales, right? But if you create something that's freaking, like, good, like, really high, like, detailed into that next level, you'll start cranking in and ranking for all kinds of different types of keywords, okay? Which is amazing. Research design listing and there's a lot of stuff that we do right it's uh, kind of it's crazy because you have to do it in like step by step by step if you do everything all at once it's going to get overwhelming and you're like going to be tired and burnt out like ah damn for forget this thanks for the advice you're welcome uh 
So in January, base costs are going up. Do you plan on increasing sales prices of your products? I'm worried about pricing myself. So when it comes to this, the so in January, I was I was expecting this already on Amazon Merch for the um you know the, the pricing of the product to go up because everything's going up right now, right? Well, in the U.S., everything's freaking going up, going high. Gas prices are like seven dollars where I live, seven dollars a gallon where I live at. I know people in other countries are like, that's nothing. We pay twelve <laughs> for less, and I um. I think when it comes to what comes to this is it, we're ex, it was expecting this to happen. I was expecting this to happen before Q4 started because it makes a little bit more sense. Um, but I guess it doesn't make sense on their end. So they're going to wait until the new year to raise prices, um, which is okay because let's say your top sellers, right? With all the reviews, I guess if it's still consistently making sales on your account, you can raise it by like a dollar or $2 and still make your $5. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Right. Um, it's all a test at the end of the day when it comes to pricing your products. Everyone prices differently. I'm not going to like I won't sit here and tell somebody, like, no, you need to price this. I price my way and then I want you to price your way so you can feel confident in the way you're pricing your products. Right. I'm not going to be here and try to shove it down your throat. But like, no, you need to increase your prices. This is up to you. Um, you can see like the good. I'm always about to see the good, the evil and the bad or, or or whatever it is. Right. Or that medium that makes you like, OK, cool. I'm going to do this this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to stick to this because sometimes we overthink little things and it's like, God damn it. Why are you thinking overthinking this when, you know, it's just a little simple. Okay, cool. Whatever. It's, it's nothing. Let's, let's focus on growing the business and making money. Right? So hopefully that answers your question. And uh, that's actually a really good, cause it's something that I wanted to cover too as well. Uh, if I were careful folks, a lot of the artists grab art off of the internet. They're like, I can't be your job. So scam. Yeah. So I, I, when it comes to any of this stuff, guys, when this, this is, this is like a, this is a side hustle in itself. If a person, if there's a person that's getting a, a sell, okay. If a person is going to make money, that's another side hustle in itself. So that if they're grabbing other people's artwork and then they're reselling it, that's, that's just the way it is. Okay. And it's really hard. Um, um, it, it's really hard to understand like the concept of this. And this is a job that you have to do, right? I'm not expecting you guys to understand like, okay, this is what this person's doing. He's still in this design from, um, uh, from Amazon. Okay.com. And then they're selling it on their Fiverr account. That's exactly okay. That's what maybe what someone's doing, but it's your job to obviously before you upload it to double check it. I've had someone where they still designs off the internet and I've caught them because I double checked their work for like three or four months. Okay. And then I like that last month I was catching them. I was like, all right, this one is no good. And, uh, 10, 10, I T I N I E Y E.com. And you can look up that image and see what pops up and it will tell you like, this is where this design comes from. And if you see it and you go click on it and it looks very similar to that one, you're like, Oh, red flag. Boom. Hey, come on, man. Like, why are you doing this? I told you not to do this. You have to be creative and create your own artwork. This is if you, if they, it's not your fault, right? That's obviously their fault at the end of the day, it's your business. So if you, if you, you know, if you like, keep on letting it go through, then, it, then it's your fault, but staying ahead of this and understanding what's going on. It's really, really important. Okay guys. And that's part of the game. You're very welcome. Any other businesses unrelated to Amazon you are not interested in? So when it comes to, I'm always interested in like other stuff. Okay. I do, I do a lot of other stuff as far as like creating content on YouTube, um, getting brand deals, stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of that this year as far as getting brand deals, which is really awesome because as I'm growing and helping people like uh, brands see like, okay, this guy is so but when it comes to my interest, okay, is to physically, this is my, my thing, to physically not be there and still make money. So all I need is internet, right? So if I move, let's say I move to like Texas, if I move to Texas, I don't need to be physically here in California to make money, okay? So. Uh, one of the things that's one of the things that I've like I truly focus on when it comes to any of this stuff I just want to be anywhere in the world. Let's say if I decide to um, Go to Mexico for vacation, right? I want to be in Mexico just chilling 
and still making money if I just go check my numbers and stuff like that. So as far as that, when it comes to that, it just has to be in my wheel work as far as making money online. Okay. Cause I'm not, there's a, there's a few times where I thought about opening up my own print shop, right? My own physical location business. And I'm just like, God damn. Okay. How would I do that? And I thought about it already. I was like, I already know what I would do. I'll create content on YouTube around everything that I do every single day and kind of turn it into like a little show and um, have my podcast in the back and then wrap it out that way. But then I, th I thought about like, I'll probably be working like 15, 16 hours a day. So, and that would be like a whole nother hustle because my goal is for, you know, obviously if I buy a $15,000 print machine or an $8,000 print machine, okay, th that I, I, every single day I have to figure out a way that how it's going to pay for that product. Um, have a question, how to search for keywords, go onto the platform that you're selling on. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, on Instagram, how do I search for keywords? Go on the platform that you're selling on. Okay. And s search for keywords. Start with one keyword. It can be uh, monkey, dog, English bulldog, cat, whatever it is. You can, you can go on there and do that. And that's one way. Um, you can start searching, I mean, searching for like the keywords in your niche and stuff like that and get an idea and see how people are using their keywords in their listing or go on Google, right? You can go on Google, you can go on Google Trends, you can go on uh, Etsy, you can go on Amazon.com, you can go on Redbubble, you can go on wherever you can think of, YouTube, go on YouTube and do a search, okay? Wherever people are, are using the search bar to search for a product or search for something, you can get an idea by doing that, okay? Um. Okay, some stuff that's not trepid can also get you in trouble. Just smoke it, just lick it. Anything like that has got my hand slapped, so be careful. So this goes down to, like, you know, the rules on the platform, right? I'm coming up on an hour or two, guys, so I'm going to hurry up and knock out the rest of these questions. Um, certain things or, 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 or certain, like, violence or, or, or hurtful things to people, it can um, obviously it can get you in trouble. So you want to be very careful about how you – use things okay on platforms because some of these remember we're playing in their playground if they get mad they can be like you know boom this account's gone and then it go, there goes all your money right so understanding that is uh really important too so you want to make sure that you're and it gets scary because like you think about it if you're someone that's and i get it i get it like if you're like just someone that's completely new or not from a, a certain country that you're uploading designs to it can be real tricky and it can be a little scary and you can kind of get a little bit overwhelmed when it comes to this, but that's our, that's something that you have to learn. Okay. It's important that you have, you learn that. Um, because if you, if you learn that, then it's, it's very powerful because it's a, it's a long play, a long term type of game. It can help you make lots of money. Okay. Um, it's, it consistently makes me money every single month. My, my Amazon merch account and it does really, really good. Um, it says, uh, foreign trademarks are hard. I get hit with a German trademark after it was translated as English. Ouch. Yeah, that can happen. That can really freaking happen. Right. And it can, uh, that can, that can uh, be really frustrating too. Um, that can happen to any of us. And, and I think that's, I, I honestly feel like this should be talked about more too, because it's like, you say one thing and it's like, ha ha ha. You got, ha uh, yeah, you got, that's why huh, like, no, it's just it, it sucks because like you thought you're doing good, right? Cool. I, I'm cool. And then next thing you know, you get hit with the trademark. Like, damn it. What do I do now? Honestly, when it comes to something like that, like don't even worry about it because we got to continue and keep moving forward. Um, but obviously you want to learn and understand the trademarks in different uh, countries, because if we don't do that, you know, bad things, you know, we'll, obviously if we keep doing it over and over and over, right? Obviously, right? Prices be, prices be higher than Snoop. <laughs> For show, huh? For show. <laughs> um, I don't chase the VW van even without the VW logo. V has been on offensive. It looks like the V van. Yeah. Um, some to keep in mind, like certain things right or not if you don't have the rights to use something you always want to question like if it's okay for you to use it and if you don't feel some if you feel some type of way about it 
like don't do it like it's that simple because there are certain things like you'll create and you're like i don't know this one looks a little too close to this one i'm just like nah i'll tell my artist like we need to switch this up this looks too similar i can see where you got your inspiration from and hopefully you're not copying right you're like this is too close to this one i don't like it and that's how you take care of your account you be, by be you being on top of stuff sub instagram uh, guys what's going on i see people in here saying what's up and giving me some hearts i appreciate that if you guys are barely just jumping in make sure you smash that like button you know what i'm saying what's up what's up what's up you think merch will ever get mugs i don't know dude i don't know I don't know. You can see like when they get new products, obviously in the, in the coding in the back, you can see what products are coming next. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, huh? I don't know. We shall see. It's actually something that a lot of people want. I know mugs do really good around this time too, during a Q4, they crush, crush, they crush. Cause they just, it's, it's gift gets, gets like a, people get gifts at offices and, and, and everywhere. Right. And, um, Grandparents get a get a coffee mug for Christmas. They do all that stuff, right? Weirdest niche you're willing to disclose? Uh, I've seen one yesterday with the the pooping books in the restroom. Pooping, <laughs> the pooping books. Like you're sitting down on the toilet and you have like these activities you can do when you're sitting on the toilet pooping and you've probably seen this already, right? That's those ones. <laughs> uh, what do you think are the top five performing up uh, top? Sorry. What are the top five platforms going to going into 2023 for POD? What are the top five performing platforms going into 2023? Okay. When it comes to this, it's going to be, it's going to be, I want to say, it's gonna well for me personally so it's gonna be amazon merch say etsy's next and then obviously you can do seller central with amazon too so it might be tied up there with those three right there for sure and then um i know a few people that do good on t public really good i know a few people that do good on uh, i'm not i'm not sure they're doing any they're doing good on zazzle still i think they said something about it crashing but that and then just building your i think building your own audience and then KDP too as well. Okay. KDP is a, uh, which is on Amazon, but a lot of people don't understand the power of KDP. It's like pr it's print on demand for books. Um, you can definitely do a lot of damage on KDP if you know what you're doing correctly. Cause this is, it's, it's, it's a very powerful platform that can make you a ton of money. Okay. Um, and I think KDP is honestly, I've, I've seen a few people that leave Amazon merch and just go strictly to KDP because there's not there's not it's not i want to i don't want to say it's not saturated but it just there's less competition and there's a lot of people that are doing really good on kdp that won't share with a lot of people because they don't want the, the attention over there um which is cool which is understandable um but I, I know i see their accounts and i see what they do and they they crush okay and that's because they're like one of the first books up there and uh it's cool because remember with any of these print on demand platforms, if you go check out a book on KDP, okay, the book is still getting there before Christmas and it's going to be doing that until like the 21st, 22nd. Okay. They're still going to be getting, um, you know, those sales and those books to the customers in time for Christmas fat way faster than a, like a shirt product. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that answered your question. Uh, hey RJ, is it, is it, so, Hey RJ, is it possible to start a print on demand business now in of 22 two, or is it too late? <clears throat> so I recommend you start right now. I'm like, it's not too late. This is like the, this is the buying season. You leverage, you leverage, um, what you learn, what you, you know, what you, what you make right now into the new year and you go, okay. My Q4 is just as good as my Q1. Okay. And then obviously in the summertime, it kind of goes down a little bit, but it's still, cause I've been working in a lot of evergreen niches and it still maintains. Okay. Something to keep in mind. It's always been like this for me personally, but my, that's a, the way it's the very first 
first time I started, I started like uh, in, I think it was like an end of April, beginning of May. It, my Q1 was always better than my Q4. And, but my Q4 is really good, right? It's very consistent sales coming in and it takes care of a lot, pays the damn bills. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it's about. And that's what I'm about <laughs> figuring out ways to pay the bills. So it's not too late. If you have any questions or anything like that, um, you can check out my YouTube channel too as well. I have a lot of content on there that, you know, helps a lot of people. Uh, Red Bubble hates me to sticker sales in four years. Uh, Red Bubble is, uh, it's a little weird, but it, uh, it, it makes money. I probably make about 200 to $400 a month over there. Right. It, it pays for something. It pays for what the groceries and it pays for the utility bill and it pays for, it pays for like a, like a up, like a, my, uh, my VA for keyword optimization, stuff like that. Vinny, what's up dog? What's up what's going on? Happy, uh, Thursday. Um, you need to get young back on here, man. Yeah. Uh, young is, uh, he came over the other day, came over the other day. We watched some UFC fights. Young's a cool guy. Cool, cool, cool guy. Yeah, guys. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Uh, pushing your business into the new year, 2023. This is one thing I'm going to say real fast when it comes to this. Okay, guys, I've told you like my Q, my Q4 is better than my Q1. And this is probably why, or my Q1 is better than my Q4 for the most part. If, oh, at this time of year, when we're making sales, we're making money, okay? And if you're not making money, you need to figure it out, okay? Because if you, if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. If there, there's always a way that you can obviously do better than what you've done before, okay? And it might not be in numbers. It might be in your designs, okay? By just taking that, moving that needle just a little tiny bit can make all the difference in your business, okay? And that can be... If it's done correctly, it can be literally, you can make an extra $500, you know, next year, or even if you even take it to that next level, you could probably make an extra $4,000, 5,000, 10,000. Okay. Whatever it is, but just understanding your weaknesses and, and what you can be better at. Okay. You yourself as an individual. Okay. I have my own weaknesses too. And I suck at a lot of things guys, but I still do it. And, and, and I always try to be better than what I am like the previous years. Okay. Um, and I just, it's just a challenge with myself as an individual. And I want you guys to look at that too, as well. You're your own, you're your own competition. Okay. Um, I, I see a few people where they get, you know, they'll get someone will post some numbers in a group and they'll say like, Hey, like, or, or whatever it is, like, check this out. And then how, I can never do those type of numbers, but who cares what they're doing? What if you're happy making your numbers? That's all that matters. Right? So in order for you to increase your sales and make more money, it's very simple. Understand what you suck at for 22 two, okay? And what you can do to perfect it and make it even better than what it is. And that is it, okay? Simple. And it can be, I need, um, you know, more fonts in my portfolio. I need uh, help with drawing certain graphics because I suck at this. Um, uh, I need help with doing my keyword research because it's draining me, okay? Um, I need help with, uh, coming up with content ideas because that's taking a lot of effort out of my creativity. Um, I need help with design ideas because by the time I get done with design ideas, I do not want to create the design cause I'm tired. So little stuff like, yep, test, test, test and stuff like that can make all the difference. Or I need to talk to somebody to see if I can learn something new. Maybe you can go talk to a top selling designer, let's say on Upwork or on Fiverr. Okay. You doing that like that and, and learning something from them and maybe trading a design or paying for the design to see what they did differently and doing that once a month. Hey, can you make a better design than this? And show, let's say you're an artist in here and that you're watching this right now and you, and you show them a design that you created and they create a better one and be like, what'd you think was, you know, what'd you do different to create a better design than this one? And they'll kind of share their feedback. And this is what I did. And you're like, oh, okay, I see what you did. I got it, right? So uh, answer a few more questions. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, uh, and wrap this up. Um, and you guys are more than welcome to check out any of my other videos on my channel too. Make sure you guys check out my videos on my channel. Um, because, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you guys are in here watching. Um, it helps me and uh, pushes my content a little bit more. 
little oomph in the algorithm and helps me create more content for you guys and do more lives like this. I, I, I plan on doing a little bit more lives with the community with you guys. Um, that way you don't see none of that edited stuff and uh, you guys can hear me cuss a little bit. I don't cuss all the time, but I cuss a little bit. If you piss me, I'm just kidding. Um, but um, that, you know, just to be real, be more transparent with everything that I do. Okay, guys, um, how can I get accepted onto Merch Amazon? When it comes to this, you have to make sure you fill out everything on the application. They're very picky, and that's just the way they are. Um, if you can do KDP, go do KDP. If you can do Etsy, go do Etsy, okay? Um, don't sit back and wait. I recommend you do not go buy an account, okay? Uh, the reason being is be, I just, just go, you can do you can do what you want at the end of the day, right? You don't don't you can, you don't have to listen to me. You can, so I think you test, do what you do what you feels right. Um, but uh, for the most part, I see a lot of people where they buy accounts and they get suspended after they get tiered up a certain a certain amount. Uh, because they changed certain information on the back end and boom, the account's gone. Okay, I've seen it. I've seen it over and over. Okay, just giving you my insights and just sharing with you. Don't yell at me. I'm human. Right? So um, I sell two designs because I'm rebel, just can't get anything to gain traction. Interesting. Because I feel like a lot of the customers come from Google search, right? So something to keep in mind. Like when you look for a shirt, search a shirt on uh, Google, you'll see Redbubble on there sometimes too, Jessica. So I think honestly, like, do like a try to put your keywords for like Google. If that makes sense. So like your title, but what, how would you search for this product on Google? Right. Thanks. This was great stuff. I'm um, thank you very much for leaving some kind words and for man, appreciate you. You have a good weekend, all that fun stuff. And thank you for joining and asking questions. Okay. RJ inspired me back in 2018. Yo, 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 <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. Um, and I'm still here. What is it? 22-2? Damn. That's like five years ago. Look at I got a little bit of gray hair now. Or Nope, this side. Right here. A little gray right there. I didn't have that when I first started doing this. So you're seeing me You're seeing me age as I create content. I'm leaving it too. I'm not going to diet, all right? <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for asking questions. Uh, what about selling art pr uh, prints, phone cases, slowly, uh, slowly on Shopify? Do you see the a little too hard to get attention to a Shopify? So when it, so you want to think of a product. So when it comes to selling art pieces, phone cases, any type of unique product. Okay. This is for you. If you're selling like art prints. Okay. You want to figure out a way to, uh, you want to figure out a way to be different from the rest of the competition. This is with anything, this applies to anything. Um, Cause if you're driving your own traffic, if you're running Facebook ads, you're still, when you're running those Facebook ads, you're trying to figure out how you can get people to click on your product so they can purchase. So you have to get their attention. So how do you get their attention? You have to make it like stand out to them. So what does that mean? Um, okay. You see that back there? See that? Whoa, 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 right here. Whoa, whoa, my head's in the way. <sighs> this one right here is a picture of my two English Bulldogs. I got Biggie. I got George right here. Okay. This means something to me. Okay. And this is something that I would actually purchase. Right. Um, I did this myself. Right. And I'm doing a video on this and how to do something like this. It's actually one of my next videos. That's actually pretty good. Um, so it kind of goes hand in hand with what we're talking about. This right here, this is a canvas wall art print, right? Look at, okay. And just a picture of my dogs. This was taken from a cell phone. This is taken for a cell phone and it was printed on here. So you can be the middleman where you have your website offer this type of stuff where they upload the image, resize it, and then you print it to them. Okay. I mean, print it and ship it to them and you can use like a third party print provider, right? Which is really cool. Look how, look how good that is. Looks like the damn picture right it's all glossy and stuff and you can see it from the side it's still clean nice right so when it comes to any of this you just have to understand the process and understand what products um you may want to sell and i honestly recommend you sell something that you enjoy uh kdp or nba um that's up to you um i make money with both of them and they both re make really good sales um they both pay for a lot and they help me do this right here right so that's up to you KDP has less competition because most people don't want to, it takes a lot of time, and a lot of work to design a book and that's, yeah. 
Test, 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 and research. Yep. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. You're a good man. Thanks for content. You're very welcome. Thank you. How do you handle POD returns on Shopify or something to do? Um, you just tell them to keep the product unless you want to like, you would have to tell them to keep the product. Okay. Um, you can tell them no, like no, uh, you just something you either eat the cost or um, ship them another shirt. Okay. Um, you, the goal is to make them happy. Okay. Cause you want, you can, you, at that point, you, their goal is to turn them into a, a, re, a recurring customer so they can buy another product and then you can make it up that way. And then when they buy another product, another product, another product. Okay. So that's all up to you at the end of the day. But your goal at that point right there, when they want to return a product because it doesn't fit, you want to say, can you get them the product or, or the, the item that fits them? And you can, if it's a, say they are wearing, or the medium's too small, send them a large. So if you can work out a deal where you can send them the large, okay? Uh, which program is recommended to edit designs for POD? Um, there's a ton of them out there. There's no like correct way to cr uh, create a design. Um, there's uh, like my, my, I have a, my artist is like Illustrator. Uh, he uses Procreate and there's Photoshop. We use Photoshop, Canva. It all depends what we're using, right? There's really no correct way. It's all like a personal preference at the end of the day. Whatever you think is good works for you, that's what I would do, okay? So think about ways, you know, whatever you think is going to be easier for you to use and uh, create something that's dope and cool. All right. So, all right, guys, I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, I have a, in the in the comments down below over here on YouTube and Facebook, I have uh, my one-on-one, -on -one, I have my Amazon merch course, I have my free Facebook group back there too, and you guys can go ahead and check those out. Um, and then obviously all the free content that I offer over on, <laughs> over, offer over on uh, YouTube and just all over social media, create TikTok, wherever it is, there's a few more coming in. Which tool? What tool change in POD would bring the biggest change? I wonder if Amazon will do more automation or something. Um, they, they're, they're trying to implement that as best as possible into their algorithm. I mean, their, their, their create part in the back end. You can see they're always like optimizing it and trying to make it better. Um, but as far, uh, I think uh, resizing the design, like more of like a Redbubble um, dashboard where you, we can actually re, oh, we can do that already, can't we, huh? Resizing the design, I think. Edit the what was it? I was like edit the edit a uh, edit, okay, edit the pre-existing listing because sometimes you'll see like the design and it it doesn't look too good and you want to edit just a little bit and move it just up a tiny bit. I think that would be good if you can edit and then obviously add like a youth size to that design instead of re-uploading a whole new design. It will be so much easier because it will help us make more sales and be really easy for us to do that. And instead of re-uploading the whole design all over again and having it rank. Uh, Netflix or Amazon Video? God, I don't even know this one. Um, I do watch a little bit of Netflix, but not too much. Like, I don't watch that much TV. Um, I usually watch, like, the first 48. Uh, I still watch, like, Unsolved Mysteries on YouTube. <laughs> Old school stuff. Um, I, I love all that stuff. So um, I'm very, like, uh, like 90s type of tv shows i don't know it makes me happy i have fun with it so yeah guys okay you guys have an awesome night and a great weekend thank you guys for joining me peace out Bye bye